you're brand new at this and you're like, what the heck is happening in my mouth? I just interrupted my whole conversation. Also, if you're gagging, the S's, they're hard. I feel like freaking hockey pucks in my mouth. If you're new at this full mouth extraction, immediate denture process, you're probably wondering, am I ever going to be able to talk without my dentures? Or am I ever going to be able to talk again with these immediate dentures? This is just weird. It's just weird. It feels like I have these big hockey pucks in my mouth because that's probably how it feels. And somebody left me a comment on one of my other videos telling me these feel like freaking hockey pucks in my mouth. And they do. They do. I am now a year and a month out from having my full mouth extraction. I'm going to take my teeth out. These are my regular set of dentures. And I'm going to keep talking to you. And you can see that... Some of the some of the words you say like the S's, S's they're hard the F F's and the V's they're they're hard to say if you're just talking in general I'm a year out and if I just stand here and talk to you in general you can see that I don't have my teeth in of course but you can see that I'm talking quite well I have learned I mean it, if you don't think about it you just talk I do better I do better at that sometimes I put my lip or my lip my tongue up here and I leave it there because it kind of looks like I have my teeth in I just don't look like I'm toothless the toothless fairy here I guess I, I don't know but here's my immediate dentures and they're huge compared to my my regular set of dentures that I have I got these from denture box they're they're just they're big they're big but I started out with these big things and right now I have a liner in here and I wish maybe I'll pick it out but they're they're so big and bulky and just a lot of things and when I first got these in they were so big you hear me talking now because I don't have a, a soft reline in the bottom I do in the top so I would talk slowly and eventually when your dentures, when your gums heal and you're, you're able to put a reline in the denture and use adhesive, you'll start talking better. So the first month, two months, is a learning curve. It's a big learning curve with these dentures. Also, also, if you're gagging and you're new at this, hang in there because it will stop once you get your dentures in there secure. Once they, they, um, once your gums shrink a little bit and you're able to either get a soft reline from the dentist or from, hear me talking a little better, I took these huge things out. By huge, I mean there's no soft reline in there at all. They're, they're just big, big. But once you are able to get a soft reline, your first soft reline, let me say that, your first soft reline. Once you're able to get your first soft reline and use some adhesive if you want to, the gagging will stop. It'll stop. Whenever your dentures are loose, you're more prone to gagging and these are loose and i'm i can feel myself kind of wanting to gag a little bit now because they're floating they're just floating right now Ugh. yeah the gag is there now you're gonna have to do several soft lines along the way until you get your regular set of dentures you can do them at home i have several videos out there I'm talking without my teeth again and not thinking about it. It'll come. It'll come. I have several videos showing you how to do a soft reline. And you might have to do one every month. You might have to put it in, peel it out, or add more to it every month. On your own, you know, just to figure things out. You may have to take a nail file because you have a sore spot and just kind of file a little bit down. You may have to do all that. But eventually, eventually what's going to happen, once you're a year out, I would wait 10 months, I waited 10 months to get my dentures. I would wait 10 months to a year to get your regular dentures because the size difference, these are my regular dentures, my new dentures, my regular set that I wear now, 
and you can see how tall this is compared to that and how how just big these are but once you get your regular set of dentures you can you'll be able to just pop them in and go about your day i don't ever put adhesive in my top denture anymore i don't need to bottom denture i do sometimes it depends on what i'm doing in the day um it's floating just a little bit because you'll never have a suction on your bottom denture you just won't it's not like the top denture it's just it's just a, a ridge that sits on your ridge i guess the top denture has the suction because of the center roof but eventually you'll be able to put them in and go so hang in there if you're brand new at this and you're like what the heck is happening in my mouth why why can't i talk why can't i eat i can see all these people eating and talking and going about their lives and and they're doing okay i'm not well it took me time it, it took me months to get to this stage i'm exactly 13 months out now in a few days that, I, that's how far out i am these dentures i got from denture box if you go to your dentist to get a full set of dentures you're going to pay five to six thousand dollars I got these from Denture Box. These are the at-home dentures that I did where I did the impressions myself. And they helped me. They have Teledentex. They helped me along the way. But I waited 10 months to get these dentures. And I love them. I, I mean, I, I couldn't. I, I just love them. And they were $1,099 compared to five to $6,000 at your dentist. And along with that, they have Teledentex and they help you along the way. You can video call with them like you do on the, like a doctor, like a, tel like a medical visit with a doctor. You visit with them, they help you, they tell you what needs to, they send try-ins, they just, they, they work, they've worked with me. In fact, they put, my mouth is, the roof of my mouth is so high, they had to put two impressions together. They had to get a good, get, get a good, get, they had to get a good impression from the front of my denture and a good impression from the back. And they were able to put those two together and put them in their computer because these are computer printed. The teeth aren't computer printed, but the gums are. The teeth were set in and I love these. So hang in there. If you're in the very, very, very beginning stages of dentures and you're wondering what your life, what you've done, what your life has become, you'll be able to talk. You'll be able to eat. You'll be able to do all of that eventually. Just take one day at a time and, and you'll get there. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.